Amy Sharp. She was called a short time later. And the U.S. now has some pint-sized champions. There they are. New York team winning the Little League World Series against South Korea. The team celebrating their 2-1 victory in front of a crowd of 22,000 people in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. It is the first time a U.S. team has won in five years, boys. I want to say New York would win the World Series this year. There you have it. Ooh. All right, a Fox News alert we've been following all morning. Massive delays after chaos breaks out at one of the busiest airports in the country. And it just happened at JFK a couple of weeks ago. Panicked passengers running for their lives at LAX after reports of a gunman on the loose. But it all turned out to be a false alarm. But Fox 11 reporter Mario Ramirez is live at LAX with the latest developments. Mary, the whole world turns on its head at LAX yesterday, last night, right? Right, panic spreading so quickly through the airport, and understandably so, you get reports of an active shooter inside, and you assume the worst. So take a look. We want to show you with this video exactly what the scene looked like, people running around, and uh, for most of them, not knowing exactly where to go. It was around 8.45 last night. Authorities say multiple 911 calls reporting gunfire came in from three different terminals, 4, 7, and 8. Passengers in Terminal 4 even self-evacuating onto the tarmac and L.A. police officers making their way through those terminals with guns drawn. It wasn't until about 9.30 the LAPD stepped forward and said those reports of loud shootings were actually just loud noises. And adding to the confusion was this video that has now gone viral. It shows a man dressed in a Zorro costume waving around a plastic sword. We've learned this morning he's actually a Hollywood Boulevard street performer. Now, he was detained just as the chaos was spreading, and he spoke to cameras right after. Somebody calls saying somebody, there's a man in, a, in, a, in a dark uh, clothing out here, and they didn't think I scared him. They explained to me, you know, this crazy stuff happens in the airports, whatever like that. And within two, three minutes after the approach me, it was over. 27 flights diverted, two canceled, and a 30-minute ground stop here at LAX while all of that was happening. Now, I asked uh, LAX police where those loud noises came from that people thought were gunfire. That is still under investigation this morning. Reporting live here at the Los Angeles International Airport, we'll send it back to you on the East Coast. Yeah, clearly LAX and JFK have the same issue, an overreaction to something that didn't happen and no coordination. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, Mario. Well, then you add Zorro on top, and it's a surprise. As Zorro, you would think, would help. It would be good to see a superhero in the middle, but it turns out it wasn't. Not always. All right, 12 minutes before the top of the hour, here's what's straight ahead. The youngest U.S. Open champ ever is on the plaza. To help you do else, us prep for our face off against the Fox Business Network. Tracy Austin's here to help me specifically because I need the most help. Who has the best serve? We're going to find out. But first, let's check in with Martha for what's coming up at the top of the hour. Good morning. I'm looking forward to that this morning. And also coming up here at the top of the hour is if the fall season gets underway, 49ers quarterback sits out the national anthem. The latest development in that story that's got everybody talking today. And Donald Trump has a big moment coming up this week. So he will talk to the nation and redefine his stance on immigration. What to expect? Huckabee is here, Sununu is here, and Dante Stallworth will talk to us about Colin Kaepernick when we see you moments away. Stay with us.